Hello everyone. In this video, I show you how to label the images you provided for your posture. So in this one, the student received the letter Y and provided the labels, provided the frames. I already uploaded them in this project and invited the student to the platform. So when the student see the platform they can see their uh, their names uh, their uh, frames there and they can start labeling by clicking on the project name so this menu shows how many labels already done and the other one shows the queue of the uh, uh, frames which are waiting for labeling if I get back to the overview and click on a start labeling, you can see the f uh, the figures comes one after each other. So you can change the setting, which is better for you, whatever you decide, and whatever which is better for you in in case of um, your um, your preference. By the way, the the way of labeling is a uh, pretty straightforward you need to click on hand and from this menu there are two options one of them is just the brush you can paint the hand by the way this one is not easy the easiest one is using the magic brush also you can uh, make the the, uh, the the theme as dark theme which is a bit easier to work with the labels and then get back to the menu so this one is showing how many pixels are included in each of the steps that we click on any part of the image you can see it detects some of the parts and then uh, color that part by the way because the um, because of this uh, uh, um, tr uh, uh, this um, tr uh, feature of the label box, you can see you can dim the screen a bit by uh, by uh, reducing the number here, and then it makes it easier for you to see what areas are being labeled. So pretty easy to label. And the reason I ask you to use the dark background is for this section that makes your job much, much easier. You can also find out some more uh, or less values for each of the uh, numbers it's given. For example, here you can take a look at the, the sections are generated by the system itself and you just need to find all the places regarding each of them and make sure that you color all the uh, places for uh, hand the frame that you uploaded uh, completely in this uh, platform so I'll try to show you how to do that with some examples let me finish with this one and we will see the final result afterwards. So make sure that there is no pixel remain uh, inside the hand area. So that is a great uh, labeling for now. You can submit it and it automatically load the next frame you uploaded. So you can see there's a variation of that. Again, you can change the anything that you feel better with the environment, whatever you think can help uh, for you to understand and make labeling better as i mentioned this one the magic uh, brush works better and using this option you can see uh, the places detected by the program uh, on the figure so if you prefer not to see it just make uh, just put a uh, low number if you want to see them just uh, make a greater number 
and also the area detected by the program can be increased so you can see if I increase that uh, a larger portion will be selected so sometimes it's good sometimes it includes the hand and background together so make it your job a bit harder therefore good values for them really depend on how you created the figures and one of the reasons I insisted on uh, putting uh, the figures putting the postures in front of or making the postures in front of uh, dark background was because of this section so for example for now because the student used a dark background I can easily make a larger part by the way you can see here for example for this part it will be included hand and background together so you should avoid that so probably a lower amount is better it needs a bit more clicks by the way you will have a, a perfect uh, labeling so let me just do that and see how it works so let's finish that and uh, sometimes you make a mistake for example here let's say you added this part uh, mistakenly so there is a there is an eraser icon here you need to click on that and click on that eraser and it will be erased for example i can erase any part that i did even if you use this brush and you just make the color somewhere um uh, you can see uh, you need to you need to make sure if you want to get back to putting color on the figure you are disabling this paint so you can see this area is painted wrongly so i can simply click on this area and remove whatever i made it wrongly by just uh, clicking on the eraser icon Whenever you want to get back to the painting mode, just disable it. And as I mentioned, super pixel size or uh, magic brush is uh, making your job much, much easier. So make use of that. And uh, you can see how I um, make labels fast using this, uh, this one. So uh, try to do as much as you can and submit and go to the next one. So that's all regarding how you need to make labels. Uh, for each of the labels, it shouldn't take more than uh, 20 seconds uh, to 30 seconds. So if you have 100 labels, um, probably it takes uh, for each two label it's one minute and probably one hour will uh, 50 minutes to one hour will be enough to finalize this task however if you can make more uh, please do that afterwards i provide the code for uh, the rest of the application that you can make use of that and augment the number of the data points we have number of samples we have and you will see how effectively it can um uh, it can make better predictions thank you and i'm waiting for your own results